Hi guys and welcome back to Tommy Starcraft. This is your host Tommy with another Starcraft Remastered replay for you guys. And once again we have a great engagement here in between two pro players. This time once again an international gameplay as we have a legend spawning here in the lower left as the purple uh, Protoss player. He is from China and his opponent is going to be none other here than spawning in the upper right in the blue. It is Toss Girl, a female pro player from South Korea. So a very interesting matchup here, my first cast with a, a female pro player against the Chinese player Legend. A very interesting once again Terran versus Protoss matchup here as we've seen in recent uh, replays on these channels. So let's just see exactly what these two players have prepared for us indeed. The, match, the map they're playing on is called Matchpoint a map with two spawning locations here so a rush could be possible and the fast expansion will be very very risky if you ask me for any player here um, legend opening up here with a casual pylon of course he might follow up here with a gateway the same can be said about Tosco the she is opening up of course with a supply, a supply depot just to block here the entrance a little bit for those SCVs so pretty standard gameplay here by both players once again a high APM for both players as we see above 400 really really good stuff here by both players and of course Tosca goes straight into a barracks as she already perhaps is going to send out a, a SCV just to check out if there's any proxy pylons here so really interesting stuff here by her let's have a look at legend already at 11 probes sends out perhaps the first scouting probe or what exactly is he going to do in actually a very very greedy gameplay here now by legend actually a very very fast uh, expansion here by him so pretty interesting of course he knows that most terrans actually like to go straight into mechanical units against the protoss so i think he's abusing this perhaps perhaps he even watched a lot of replays of toskol and in the end of course he feels very very confident here as he's going straight for that expansion also follows up here with a gateway just to secure that expansion a little bit. Toscor, however, already out with that SCV, so she's going to find out pretty soon that what Legend is up to, and indeed she's going to see that fast expansion with the pylon here. At the same time, Legend also moving out here with his um, probe, just to scout the base from Toscor. So let's just have a look. Gas is also being uh, spawned here for the Protoss. One Marine is already out on the map. But I don't think that that many marines will follow given the fact that, like I told you guys, most Terrans really, really like to go into siege tanks, vultures and goliaths against a Protoss. The probe already taking a little bit of damage here. Checks out the base from Toskull, sees that everything is as usual. A normal build order here for Toskull with that barracks, with that uh, factory. The SCV stealing some minerals here and checks out this base there is no zealot yet being spawned here by legend actually the first zealot is coming out and pretty soon legend is going to follow into dragoons but that is one really really fast expansion here for him so i think that uh, tosco tosco will very likely follow up here with her expansion by herself and let's just have a look He's even doing an add-on here for that factory which will indicate to us that she will perhaps go into fast vultures with those mines followed by uh, siege tanks of course the count of the probes is a little bit higher for a legend here as he's at 23 versus the 20 from Toskull. this uh, scv is still giving vital information here for Toskull. sees exactly what the protoss is up to what his next buildings are going to be but i think that as soon as the dragoon will pop out this scv will be of course in a little bit of trouble as he's really really deep into enemy territories here so there comes that dragoon out he's going to have to, she's going to have to micro this scv out but sadly for her i think that this scv will sadly fall of course so no more vision here for toskol one marine very nicely placed here in the middle of the map there is also a vulture so pretty sure that the mine capability is being upgraded now here for Toskal as he checks the third position just to see if a legend has expanded here even lays down a mine just to have that much vision as possible here on the map she even might kill the probe or two but um, legend already here with that zealot zealot very very bad 
unit against the vultures. Vultures are really, really good against these zealots. Even might take some damage out of that mine. Let's just see one probe is being killed here. Second probe is going to get targeted. But sadly for Tuskel, she loses that vultures. A pretty good engagement here for her. Killing one probe, perhaps even two. And almost killing that zealot, of course. More and more is, of course, going to follow up here. She even leaves that SCV just to see what exactly Legend is going to. He's going to into a robotics facility, so this could indicate to us a shuttle play with some Reavers, maybe some Psionic Storm with some high tempers. Everything is possible as two Vultures once again are coming in here in the expansion from Legend and laying down those mines sadly for her. That Micro isn't that good, but still she almost kills here a Zealot. The Zealot indeed falls and even takes out two probes, so pretty good stuff here by Toskal finally. She even takes out the third probe, she might even go for the force, almost killing that force. So pretty good stuff here by her, of course she lost those uh, vultures, but the engagement was much much better now. As her expansion is also up and pumping uh, minerals. Let's just have a look at the follow up here. Another factory is of course being built, so like I told you guys, this is the strategy for most Terrans lots and lots of factories into those units those crucial units that siege tanks with early vultures and uh, goliaths in case the protoss is going for um, carriers or maybe arbiters later on once again these vultures are placing those mines those mines just to deal that splash damage against the dragoon and really really great stuff here by uh, Pascal Legend not really paying attention there, so a lot of splash damage has been done here. But when you look at the worker count, they are still even 37 to 36. Now finally, Legend can move out with that Observer. A much needed unit, of course, for the Protoss, just to uh, detect those mines. So pretty, pretty standard stuff here by both players. We are about to see what exactly they are going into. Those four gateways here for uh, Legend. Toskal securing here her expansion and perhaps building another one indeed so more and more factories for here for her are coming out I believe the first siege tanks are also going to come out indeed they're coming out and even an engineering bay just to upgrade those units we are close uh, slowly closing in on the 10 minute mark so pretty standard stuff by both players perhaps she will try some more runs here with those vultures the vultures are very very last unit even a dropship here but this dropship is uh, empty so perhaps a little bit of a, a fake uh, attack here by her that observer sees this dropship of course so this is just to uh, scare perhaps a legend a little bit so that he leaves some units here but this uh, dropship is of course uh, empty so legend is going to hold this position and perhaps even soon he's going to move out here with some zealots with some dragoons or what exactly is his next step going to be? Is he going to into carriers? Let's just check his main. There is a starport, a pylon, and a forge, so it might be an arbiter play, of course. Arbiters are a very strong unit here for any protos, thanks to their invisible ability for all of his units and the stasis trap, but also for that recall. Very, very important spell recall, of course. Just to teleport all those units into a, a Terran base, for example. Toskal already moving out here on the map. Uh, Legend sees everything, of course, with that observer. And Toskal, of course, adding this uh, turret as the turret also detects uh, the invisible units like uh, uh, the observer or a Dark Templar. At the same time, Legend already up with his uh, third base here. Pretty even count of workers, so as things are slowly but steadily settling down here, our Vulture is being moved out on the map just to see what exactly Legend is going to uh, opt for and indeed he's going to expand even more here. So very greedy gameplay once again by the player from China, really good stuff here by him. At the same time, uh, Tuskar is slowly moving forward here with her army, backed up by those turrets. Pretty, pretty interesting stuff. Is she? She's very likely going to secure this position here and very likely going to expand into this position here. Some marines are being added. No goliaths yet. Let's just have a look what exactly are the next units here for Legend. And pretty surprisingly, I see some Corsairs here for him. So there's not really air units here for uh, uh, Toskal, just this dropship. Perhaps she's going to, of course, going to into some uh, 
science vessel for that um, EMP shockwave against the arbiters but very out of the ordinary gameplay here a little bit by him as he's going for those uh, Corsairs really really good interesting stuff perhaps he's going to use those Corsairs as detection perhaps he's going to use that uh, cloud on those units this could be also an option just to make the blinding cloud just to not allow the siege tanks to shoot at all but we're about to find out of course as he's also going into the left upper position here with that expansion as things are slowly settling down here both players very very defensive here as we still didn't have a huge engagement at the 10 minute mark so both players like legend is clearing of course this mines um, uh, Tuskal is doing some scans just to see those observers laying her mines all over the map a nice pile here by legend just to check this uh, location and this uh, vulture is very likely going to be taken out but he deals some little bit of splash damage here against those dragoons we have another draft through here by Tuskell killing one probe but two dragoons here in the upper part are of course ready to uh, secure this position these dragoons will of course take care of these uh, vultures a legend a little bit quick on the reaction here with those probes he really wishes to secure his position but he very likely saw the siege tanks of course so it's a very very good decision here by him as he needs those zealots in the front and in comes the corsair let's just see what exactly are they going to do nothing yet oh indeed he's going to cast that blinding cloud on those siege tanks so the siege tanks need of course to siege out and just move out so interesting tactic here by uh, legend i haven't even seen this tactic before bisu has never shown us this tactic on this channel but legend with a really really good stuff here by him five corsairs here with that blinding cloud good stuff here by him of course blinding cloud a great counter against those uh, siege tanks especially the fact that the siege tanks are sieged up here and they they really take a lot of time to just unsiege and then uh, move out in uh, out of that cloud so pretty really good stuff here by legend showing us a new tactic here he might even expand into this location the same can be said about Tusk girl as she's expanding at a lower right uh, location so pretty good map awareness here by Tusk girl as she moves out those vultures in the middle of the map with those mines but once again the same thing starts as legend is of course moving out and just to clear as many mines as possible so pretty pretty interesting and uh, at the same time no, no, nothing out of the ordinary yet still waiting here to see what exactly legend is going to follow up is he going for an arbiter bay indeed he's going for arbiter tribunal so we are going to see of course those arbiters much needed unit in the late game of the protos what exactly is tosco going to into perhaps some uh, science vessel of course to counter those uh, arbiters lots of factories here for her six factories a seventh is being built as her economy is going to kick in really really soon nice move out here with those vultures yet he's sh finally she's going straight for those probes so really, really good stuff here by her just killing as many probes as possible there are two cannons here of course this will be fended off but a little bit of damage has been done as four to five probes have been killed here legend not really paying a little bit of attention there so he did lose some probes let's just have a look at the follow-up here as he's moving out here with a very usual army composition for any protos no upgrades yet just a 1-0 weapons upgrade let's just have a look at Tusker's upgrade it's a 0 to 1 I believe let me have a look, look. yes indeed 0 to 1 so pretty standard stuff here by both players once again I move out here with those dragoons just to kill those mines as Tusker is securing her position even moving here just to kill as many probes as possible so we have a nice fleet beacon here but uh, legend is taking a lot of economic damage here as those mines even are dealing so much splash damage so she, he has to recall all of his units just to fend off this attack so this just shows to us once again how important the vultures are how fast they are and how much uh, chaos they can cause into the protos main and expansions finally this is being cleared out here by legend and once again he's moving out straight in the middle of the map so many vultures here by uh, Tosca really really good stuff by her so the observer needs of course to be here in this army composition 
just to kill those mines as fast as possible. A good move out here by uh, Toskal. At the same time, she did uh, take out this expansion here. So Legend right now moving out with a small group of Dragoons, very very deep into enemy territory. At the same time, Toskal is moving out here on the map, but uh, Legend is being prepared for that. Even might surround these vultures here. Dragoons very very good against that vultures. One science vessel is being taken out, so Toskal not paying a little bit of attention here. She's being trapped here a little bit actually with those vultures. So she needs to pay very very much attention here. Lots of vultures will fall sadly for her now. So we already have fallen the fourth and the fifth. As she moves out in the middle of the map with uh, so many siege tanks here. Now she has to of course spread those siege tanks as much as possible as those courses will cast those, those blinding clouds here. This observer is perfectly placed here by uh, legend and the arbiter is here but already taking so much damage. Here we have the first blinding clouds, the siege tanks aren't sieged up. The siege tanks in the bank even taking more and more blinding clouds so this could be a good engagement here for legend indeed as he forces those girl back so much blinding clouds here on the map really really good stuff here as those corsair ran out of mana but their job has been done here great stuff here by him as indeed Toskal is losing so many uh, units here so pretty pretty good stuff Toskal has to retreat of course her mines will hold this position as the observer once again needs to move forward the arbiter has been taken out but the job has been good done here for him dragoons against those uh, Goliaths and Vultures and the reinforcements are coming in here for Legend as he feels very very confident indeed there's a, even another blinding cloud being casted here on this uh, Terran tank so Legend should be really showing us a great tactic here really really good stuff here by him let's just see the response here from Toskal what exactly is she going to do perhaps transitioning into more Vultures with Goliaths or spreading those siege tanks even more out on the map as legendly is moving more and more forward here on the map as he's even threatening here the expansion by uh, Toskal. Toskal has to retreat those SCVs so a lot of SCVs will be killed sadly for her. This ramp is being blocked a little bit but the SCVs do make it out at least some of them as both players are once again closing in at the SCV count. Goliaths are moving forward here a highly upgraded to lights I believe indeed one to two so very very strong unit indeed as this army composition here from legend is being uh, surrounded here by Toskal so so many dragoons will very likely fall no exactly could actually make it out on that other ramp so really good engagement here for uh, legend as he denies this expansion here for Toskal another expansion is sadly falling here for Toskal so Toskal in a little bit of trouble as legend has 40 more supply here and he even built another pylon here just to check out this expansion when exactly Toskal would expand here. Let's just have a look at upgrades from the Protoss. It's 002. Oh, another drive by here by Toskal as she might want to take as many out as many probes out as possible. But there are two cannons here, even three cannons. And this Dragoons is very, very strong against those vultures. Only one cannon is being targeted and very likely is going to be taken out but a really big uh, army composition here in the middle of the map sadly for him he's going to lose that arbiter once again the blinding clouds have been casted here all over the siege tanks so pretty pretty good stuff here once again for a uh, legend another blinding cloud on that ramp as Toskal has to siege out and even siege out even more so let's just see her answer. She is moving out back a little bit and sieging once again up. Now there are no many zealots here for um, legend, so legend needs to be careful. Those dragoons will take so much splash damage out of those siege tanks, and the ramp position is really really good here for uh, Toskal as she holds. She holds this attack, and at the same time she did quite a little bit of economic damage here against those probes. She might even follow this attack here of course with those three vultures and the siege tank could even penetrate a little bit deeper here now the probes are of course in danger as legend has no armies here so pretty good engagement here now by Toskal as she deals so much economic damage here really really great stuff here by him by her sorry as legend is falling at a 50 worker count 
very very good stuff by her after losing a little bit of this uh, battle she hold this battle she hold the ramp but sadly for her i mean in a good way for her sorry she did kill as many probes as possible here and causing economic damage she even might go for this nexus but in come the reinforcements here for legends so this attack did a good job here for Toskal. she did uh, indeed uh, kill so many probes here so nice 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 job by her even forcing a withdraw from the uh, army here from the legend as things finally have settled down but still sadly for Toskal, she's at only 120 supply versus 184 so even even the fact that the legend did lose so many probes he has a big, much much bigger army composition here and we can see that move out on the map with those arbiters no many corsairs i see now but finally the corsairs are coming in but do they have enough energy i don't even think that's possible that's needed now even a stasis trap is being now used from that arbiter that arbiter was very very strong so many units here for the protoss players not that many zealots in the front but uh, slowly but steadily perhaps a EMP shockwave will, will be used here with the science vessel the science vessel of course much needed just to detect these uh, invisible units here for legend uh, Toskal moves out with those vultures in the front with those mines but there's just way 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 too much here for legend as he moves forward with those uh, zealots with those dragoons backed up by the dragoons in the back and indeed that is going to be the GG sadly for Toskal she's going to lose this game after a very very good game here by her but the macro game here from legend was way way too strong perhaps in the beginning of the game she could have punished this fast expansion here perhaps with a, a building with a two barracks in the middle of the map followed by a scv push with some bunkers is it is of course a possibility as we've seen maru doing this a lot of time in starcraft 2 but i really think that it is of course a possibility in starcraft 1 brudor of course just to place one barrack here not followed by another one and just to pull some SEVs and just to punish here the tactic of uh, the Protoss SE is of course expecting a mechanical unit composition by the Terran so pretty good stuff here by both players a very very nice game I really hope you guys enjoyed I see you guys in the next replay this is Tommy signing out